Really confident that Barats is going to make sure that he doesn't go any further. No, Ruby's bad. Oh, Ruby's bad. Oh, Ruby's bad. Beautiful. Okay. Great high frames and they need an AoE. Alright, so there you go. Alright, Khalid or Ro Oh, yeah, Khalid Ro Rome. Angela mid. Angela, yes, y'all going. Will be. Yeah. The choice. Last oh, pick cool. for RRQ. Oh, it's really Let's tough. See. They can't go Ixia. I think Brody's okay. Moskov will be very, very safe. You're up against uh, you're up against the Lunox as well, so you don't yeah. have that many great matchups. Maybe the Beatrix, uh, but even then it doesn't feel that great. Yeah, Not a lot Leo. of setup other than Mother the Barats and Julia. Okay, Aerithel. Yeah. Doubling down on Aerithel. It's a risk, but I mean, it's Skylar. It is Skylar, He's and it's Skylar. also the Matilda as well for Edoc. Yeah. We saw the, that combination earlier before. Guys, championship point. Tell us what you think. I think that right now Skylar needs to absolutely smurf on TLID. Take sprint. You have to win your lane. You have to skill as fast as possible. Because generally RQ, their team fighting is nasty, but they're going to lack damage. I think Lunox will be the hero that will take us to game seven. Game seven? We'll see, ladies and gentlemen, championship point. We're gonna throw it over to our casters. Take it away. One game away from the trophy. One game away from glory, one game away until the kingdom finally rejoices. It is game number six, match point for RQ Hoshi against Team Liquid ID. The cavalry will not have it. They will not have it without a fight. Fabian on the link, the usurper wants the throne. He wants the crown. Ladies and gentlemen, in the land of dawn we go for a possible final game in the series, but a possible comeback to equalize on the board from the Cavalry. A signature strategy from the Cavalry. Great macro presence, great dive in the team fights. And look at that, even in the lane, this Lunox pick certainly is a curveball. RRQ, can they withstand it? Can they find ways to kite back far enough? Skylar, has to go! Oh! Flickers forward, finds first blood, will be taken down. But that is a way, that is a cannon minion they, that he will lose on top of his life. Oh, Skylar gets assassinated. Yaskiel burns his flicker. And this lane, the Aerithal against the Lunox. Talk to me about that lane, Arashi. The Aerithal against the Lunox, they have so much more sustain built into the Lunox, more burst damage too. So the traits that usually the Aerithal can win by being more maneuverable, by just having a lot more burst in the kit, can't really be exploited to the same degree, but look at this! So the gym on the Julian, knocked out by Fabian, oh. slain by Fabian. The mercenary down, the usurper will take that kill. Now Tyrant trying to stop the farm from being taken, but again for Fabian, it's like taking candy from a baby. You just Whoa. take it away, Tyrant. Dovon, witty, will try to tank it up. Tyrant low, around tanking it up. Fabian just needs one more shot to find and play to take him down. Brings an Edop, rotating up top, witty. So trying to heal up, Fabian will let that happen. The Shadow Stampede before he backs away. In front of Pursuit, Edoc will get away. They were juggling the aggros to dive into Dyron, and Dyron has to die, but TLID, they come out unscathed. Aaron, oh, gotta respect the Sotujin saving. The chain saving the enhanced side. Aaron still able to sustain for a bit. Another level of the stain, but Skylar with a crossbow will get it again on the board for our Q. Great move by Sisojin to just be patient with the usage of the skills there, ensuring that he has it guaranteed. But with that play on the bottom side, more prior for him to get to the top side, the turtle, and a purple ball. Last time Darren was able to get a miraculous death to this walk, and will he be able to find him? Wow! A run takes it for him as he goes for the April pursuit. Fabian gets a turtle, he gets the Tempest of Blades, and Darren will fall for the second time this game. The usurper blunders. The resources of the kingdom, but that was Iran jumping into the back line and giving path for Fabian. Damn it from Weedy man. And Iran is running the vengeance too. So even in the late game, if the idea is to just burst down this Phobius, Team Liquid ID has a lot more solutions to try and make that play happen. Oh, Baby Sansarum into the back. No pure for Skylar. Good nether realm baiting Witty. Skylar throws the crossbow. Up top and down below. That is Witty again. Taken out. That was almost a kill and a half for Witty. He was able to raging sandstorm forward. Thankfully, Rince was close by. You're buying the block, and he pops the Nether Realm. Fabian actually out farming Sutsujin at this point in time. Skylar actually gets the cart 
Paul held on to him by Rinse. Great coordination as a team there, but Fabian has gotten the Berserker's Fury. Already a big power spike, and every single lane for RRQ is actually in a losing position. The EXP, the gold, and the mid lane all pressured down, even the jungle. So RRQ are playing it super defensive. We talk to a bot. That's true. We talk about the losing lanes, right, Arashi? But Skylar is able to collect two kills. Do you think that is still a losing lane for him? Uh oh. Dyron. It's gonna be the engage. That's his welcome coming down. Iran trying to tank up the turret. Fabian does get picked up. It doesn't find oh. the wall. Fabian gets another kill without the purple buff. That it's still off. Take a look at this. He's delaying the purple off take so that he has it for the turtle. Good brilliance to escape. You don't have to take it low. Iran Shiggy will go for it. Finds the kill. Hard guard over. Flicker. Oh. Iran Shiggy. What's the cavalry to keep fighting? What's the cavalry to keep charging? Chaos Shiki with the double kill. He's able to stampede on the kingdom. Two kills for himself and TLID. They gallop into the castle walls. Oh man, that's a great fight by Team Liquid ID winning across the board. Our Q. The issue right now is so many players, so many members of Team Liquid ID can really go invulnerable. The Tempest of Blades, the Brilliance Order, so many ways to outplay, but Widdy! Good sand guard, getting him a bit of HP. That's a flicker shadow stampede to pull him back, but Widdy was able to get the Raging Sandstorm now. Aaron put some damage back. Skylar, that heavy crossbow starting to hurt now, but Aaron will be able to respect it, will be able to get the healing from Yehez skill who has rotated bottom lane. Three of the four kills only onto Widdy though. Definitely far from ideal for RRQ. The gold lead, however, was it at 3,000 more or less. Now it's down to 2,000. You're seeing the mid game here for RRQ looking a bit more alive, especially with the power spikes for Skylar. Being a crit build, you actually get a bit more value from the first few items compared to the whole shred that requires the Trinity to really get things going. But of course, Fabian has a lot of damage. Oh. Really trade, hard guard comes down. Skylar able to escape for now. Julian, Sutsujin. Walking to the bottom lane, Aaron will just shove this wave together with the hard guard on him still to get Pryo on the map. Meanwhile, Fabian up top, get in the turret. That is a tier one. Look at how much attention they're giving towards Skylar. Skylar's just getting bullied over and over again by Witty and, and the Lunox in the hands of Aaron Shiki. The rotations is pulling apart the players of RQ. Rinse. Stampede, Aaron. No flicker. Oh. Dead. On the brilliance. Chaos oh. to escape. Iran jumps into the midst of it all to help his teammate, certainly Eagle, to knock two up. But Witty's right there to prevent that from being a full dive. RRQ transitioning to more of an Ube style here. You can see it. They're moving together as a unit. It almost seems like right now, the deciding factor is whether or not Rins can make the right call. If he follows the movements of Team Liquid ID and identifies which lane is going to be under aggression from the cavalry, then he can use a netherrealm to negate that whole outcome and keep the game going just that much longer into that mid-game that RRQ can use. When we talk about the DLID composition, they're more of a dive composition, but you talk about how Aran is there to become the front line. You have the peel as well from Witty. How is the Julian supposed to access the backline? Oh, what happens? Enhance. Sword trying to run away. Netherrealm already baited out now. Cap of the Blades on the Sutsu Jin, who will fall. The Mercenary down. Skyler very low. Maybe leave for the Blades again as it's put up. No! The Demonic Force Prox are eternal. Aran will continue to zone him away. But a Stampede brings him back. Aran will jump in. If you're going to kill me, it'll be on my terms. Just relentless aggression. That is the way the Fovius operates. That's gonna be a neutral objective. Some turrets as well for Team Liquid ID. Extending the gold into 4K. RRQ making maneuvers happen, trying their best to read into Team Liquid ID. But there's just so many tools to kind of keep your eyes on. The Raging Sandstorm, the Tempest of Blades, now Susujin. Ooh, purple buff stolen. Fabian stealing it away. This time Aaron has the flicker, so RRQ will not continue that chase. So Susujin pulverized, torn apart by the cavalry. He hasn't been able to become online. Oh, three on the Julian. If the Julian is this beaten into a pop, how effective it is going to be as the time progresses, Arashi? Fortunately for the, for the Julian, you can kind of still operate as a card control tool, technically with the enhanced chain. But ideally for Sisogen, he still wants some more damage. But Skylar face checks! Raging Sandstorm over to Skylar, has a heavy crossbow, has this Shadow Stampede to help him as well. Zeta walks forward, Witty will actually be threatened there. Now able to heal back up, Aaron. That's a big power spike. Second item, Holy Crystal. Talk to me about this, Arashi. It's more, more scaling, right? More numbers to really add damage to your kit. And for now, there's not really a lot of magic damage, especially in the 1v1 against Skylar. And magic defense, I mean. So, 
Iron can really abuse this. And he's been playing very aggressively because he knows he has an invulnerability tool to get out of the ganks of our Q. They don't have a lot of repeated engagements, but look at that. Witty. Stampede, Witty. And half chain finding him. Witty will not try to commit any of his resources. Heck, he doesn't have any resources to spend, but Fabian, on oh. the other hand, oh, the Usurper man. will stay busy. Flavor Fave with a tier 2 traded for the Roamer's life. Tyron. Unable to get that cheeky Dantimus welcome. The flicker was not up. He's turbo farming his items, right? Three item power spiked, BOD completed. And now the question becomes, how are, are how is RQ going to match that side lane pressure that TLID will constantly have in the hands of Fabian? I don't think they have any easy way of doing so. The best they can do is use Mathilda to kind of elevate their movement around the map. But even then, the way that RQ is playing this Uwe against this Assassin it just makes it so difficult for them to actually get any winning circumstances. And keep in mind, later on with the with the Vengeance, Aran can last a lot longer in the front line. Mm -hmm. So it really feels like RQ have to bait out some spells and then make their way back in. Use the Mathilda oh. Guiding Wind to just allow themselves to, to bait out some of the resources. Because in a full-on 5v5, I don't see them coming out on top. No. Oh. Run. In a 1v3 so far, not even. Yeah, they're all running away for dear lives, and look at that. The Lord Free conceded by RRQ. They can't really pressure back to Eli. Ooh, Skyler. Good poke. That's an ultimate down though. Lord is still pushing on the top side, and the purple buff always, Team the ID. Playing classic, the right way to just shut down your opposing, your opposing jungler. Just keep going for these invades, knowing that you have the frontline advantage, you have the damage advantage, you have the macro advantage even. There's not much that RRQ can do here without really making a lot of sacrifices elsewhere. They have total control in the second half of the map. The Lord even wanting to siege towards the turret. Iran should give the Ruby DD combo. Diamond taking very low. Nether Realms is safe with the Vengeance Pot. They're in for a run. Coming to play from Fabian. Diamond trying to go for the Dance Welcome, but will not be able to find a Fabian now. But oh. no! Diamond oh. did he find it? He found Fabian. Fabian! And the Usurper shall fall in the hands of the Mercenary. Skyler on the chase. Freya has killed. But TLID, they back away. They think it's worth it to trade Fabian for the base turret. And I think they were right to make that call. Again, the soldiers of the kingdom, they hug the crown prince, protect it with their palm of the hands, and Fabian, he falls down in that altercation. That is a bold move from Tindigod ID to go for a dive under a turret against a Faramis, against a Julian. Wow, they just kept going for it. And I really believe, obviously, that the that the plan wasn't really trade Fabian for that pickup. But hey, no. a familiar face, LJ. Of course, MPL IDX streamer presented to you by our coffee. Good day. He's out there. He's out there, man. Just lingering, just watching. There you go. Oh, revelation. He realizes. There you go. Woo. W man. Oh, oh, what the heck was that? Where did Enoch go, Fabian? Wants to dive in over the rims this time. Comes to play, use top Tyron. Then the Realm Council, and there you go, Raging Sandstorm on the two, Dyron still has immortality, but now it's gonna be Aran with Infernal Pursuit in towards the base. No minions, they will lose Aran, but they've taken Edoc and Dyron down. Oh, they're knocking on the doorsteps of the castle that the kingdom has been able to build, but I feel like no, they don't want to exert even more pressure. They will back away. Discipline, as they've learned from their mistakes. There's nothing to get right now on the map anyways. I think that what that was is Team Liquid ID making a statement to our Q. Hey, you want to walk out of your base? You have to remember that we are danger. And we will punish you if you just overstep your limits. Purple buff secured by Sysogen though. And you're seeing level 15 for both junglers. Our Q slowly but surely trying to catch up with the farm. But man, when it comes to pressure, nothing they can do right here. Tyron taking so much damage only with a handful of spells. Is there a scenario where RRQ is able to match TLID in a 5v5 Lord take? The longer the game goes, in theory with the Nether Realm, it is possible. But the problem is, Team Liquid ID don't have to go for that. They have the macro play with the Angela, with the Link. Mm -hmm. Why would they go for a frontal 5v5 against a Faramis, against a Marksman? Look at Witty. Oh, Witty. Looking for a flank angle, he might be able to catch Sutsujin, but no. Back up close by, so he's all alone, stranded in an island. Well just wow. becoming a distraction for the TLID Cavalry to take down the Lord. Interesting play right there. Witty with the movement speed bonus from the passive. 
actually going and threatening the bottom side. And again, RRQ can't afford to split apart from each other. This almost seems like the same idea with the Yif Natan, just with a different format with the Ye with the Faramis Aerithel. But it's just not the same kind of shred. There'll be more bursts available by Skylar, but he needs to find the right targets. Technically against the Assassin, it can work, but with the hard guard, this is why that Angeline combo is just so difficult to deal with. And especially with the fleeting time available, there will be no hesitation from the skill to just pop that hard guard again and again. And Fabian, man, he is just up there at this point. Got this Uwe combo it's working at its best for RQ to defend their base, but now can they hold the second Lord marching in? Maybe. Chunk load, time blade, and the Tempest of Blades. Lord, huh, will not be utilized to its fullest. RQ dealt with it quite well. Is that a loss, Rashi? That is a loss. Team Liquid ID get some ways to push to clear on their own, denying gold from their Team Liquid ID members, and then the waves can get caught by RRQ no problem. There was no dangerous moment there that can, they can go for a fight, they can, cut, they can punish. They did not get more damage or too much damage onto the base turrets. Team Liquid ID, it really felt like they didn't really set up the waves at all there. Yeah, it was all just done and dusted. The Lord evaporated in mere seconds by RRQ. And it feels like it's harder to be able to lay claim on the backline of RRQ. The fact that they, they have a lot of layers before they could access their hands towards Skylar. Uh oh. Woody. No, whoa, oh, God, wait. We gotta reflect this. Oh, Fabian gunned down. Well, now it's starting to hurt. Now that hard guard isn't able to save him all that well. A run. So able to run away. Fabian clearing up top. CLID escaping from the clutches of RRQ. Look at that, though. Three ultimates for the side of Team Liquid. Now, the, the full vs doesn't really count, but RRQ are forced to just blow everything almost immediately. That is the amount of danger that they can sense from Team Liquid ID. But especially for Fabian, he needs to be very careful right now. Does. Burst damage, right? Assassins, surprisingly, are quite weak to it from the Irito, from the Beatrix. We've seen it before. So three hits in the late game will be enough. Two. Oh, look at that. Wow. Fabian able to react in time. That would have been game changing had that hit. And now for TLID, of course, they want to bank on Canadian, but Anon Shiki hasn't been able to see much of daylight with the damage that he's supposed to deal with the way that he's supposed to dive to the backline of RRQ, but it seems like he's not getting the, the airtime that he needs. Right now it's just unfortunate for Team Liquid that the Lunox pick allowed them to be so aggressive to just bully Skylar, but now in the late game, when they just go for that big engage and they use all the ultimates, it's almost like game over, right? Armor Keep that can survive the initial burst will be able to do uh, to do a lot more damage. But Sisogen need to be careful. Preemptive plays have been rampant in season 14. Now it feels like they wanna try to contest the Lord, but this time around TLID is just juggling it. Enticing RRQ to come inside. They can't. Shrouded in secrecy, they have this done. They get the third Lord. Courtesy of Adon Chiki. And again, the kings are forced into their own castle against Skylar though. Ooh, okay. wow. Aran able to stop that engage from happening. Only a mere few seconds, almost 9,000 damage. The fact that Weedy was able to just Raging Sandstorm out and the over the leftover damage actually splashed over to Aaron, taking him down to almost half. That's a lot of burst damage. 4, 1, and 4. Skylar hasn't technically been shut down completely. Mm -hmm. It's only a 5k gold difference. And we've seen that with the right composition, even 10k can be mitigated by the, the base, by the safety that the base provides for you. Around though, going more and more tanky. Ooh. Ooh look at the damage though. Oh. Ridiculous damage. In and out. Ridiculous healing too. And that was a holy crystal purchased by Yeskill. It's you. Come with the around walking up. Oh my god. Now goes over to Hurdle for Sue. Raging Sandstorm onto them. It's not gonna be enough to take anyone down. Just another realm right now. It's just gonna be one member taken out. Since Jin's still able to deal with the waves. They hold that's an block Come from Tyron! Fabian will be cut! He buys the immortality, but I don't think he can live. He buys the winter crown. The usurper is hard to kill. Oh, but he is not immortal. Is this the turnaround the kingdom is looking for? They defend their castle. And they will advance forward. The risky play by Team Liquid ID. And they did not even get a base tower for their troubles. In the bottom lane, it was saved. RRQ with 22 seconds before Fabian. The menace, the usurper, is back on the map. 
to have an impact. They can use this to set up all the traps, all the pressure. But look at Rins. Ready, set, stop! Oh! Oh! And Aaron Shiki capitalizes! Now with a hard guard onto Aaron, that's an enhanced chain onto two. Aaron still able to reach out some damage with a crown of immortality built by Sutsujin. With the help of the photo, an enhanced chain forward. DLID now on the chase, the cavalry. They advance. Will charge. Woody walks forward. Tyron tied up by Heskill. He will be mobilized. He will be taken out. Oh, yes, kill. He's on a killing spree. And DLID have been able to bait RQ out of their castle now. Another siege into the base. Maybe Red Stone here. Netherrealm. Just yet. You'll have to wait. Such a Jin will use the enhanced sword to escape. That's a strictly eagle. Eat up with a flicker. In front of pursuit. Skyler. Forward. Another round coming down. Now Such a Jin trying to clear out the waves and he won't Special. be able to do it right now. But no! The cannon minion! One cannon minion was all it took! D-L-I-D! Stay alive in a best of seven! They will not let their dreams be shattered just like that! A game of inches! The cavalry! Steadfast! Still galloping! Still in the dreams of the revolution!